In the seven years I've been teaching, I have been met with maybe a half dozen students who have really solid note-taking skills when they come to my class. So I ask my students that take my class in real life to use this following method of taking notes then I would really hope that they will take with them to other classes that are based on concepts. The method that we are going to use is the Cornell note-taking system, and I have provided a link to the file that I hand my students. It's a page that has two sides, and if you're one of my students in real life, there's tons of copies in my room at school. And there's two sides to this. One side has two columns, the other side just pretty much blank. Uh, so, here's the expectations for notes. And there's some parts here. First you've got the video number and the video name. And the expectation is to fill that in for every video because many of my students also need help with organizational skills. And this course, in real life, students produce a notebook containing all of the knowledge that they've gained throughout the course. And there's two columns on that front sheet. On the left side, you're going to list the concepts, giving yourself space, lots of space, you're going to list the concepts that either you're finding below in the description on YouTube or you're using my student pages on my website, Science with Higgins. And so you've listed your concepts, then you watch the video. Now all the videos are designed linearly so that as you watch the video, those concepts will most of the time be covered in order as you go through them. As you watch the video, from that concept, you would draw a picture now I don't have to be a great drawer or someone that is has a great art ability in order to draw good concept-based notes this way. I don't know what that is. So if I write on it, duck. Now it's a duck. And that's about what you need for like a idea of what is happening for that concept. Now, you're not going to draw a duck for every concept. That's just an example. You're going to actually draw something that is related to that concept. And then, after you've drawn something, write out why your drawing shows that concept. And that will help cement it in your brain so that you can use it in the discussions and the questions and when we talk to each other in class and real the real world. If you're watching this video at home, this allows you to actually know the underlying concepts and it's not just memorization of a definition. Because if you don't know how to use the word, you're not really learning it. So you would do that for every single concept, and then after you're done watching, on the back, you will summarize in a paragraph form. For most of the concept videos in this course, there are question prompts titled summary slash review for everything. So that's where you would answer that here in a paragraph form, which means that you've gone from the basic knowledge and you're starting to comprehend how those words work together. And then 
in my real life course, what we'll be, we will be doing is having a warm up every day, rehashing what we talked about the day before, and then we'll have tons of activities and things to do. But if you are taking this as just watching the videos at home, this does bring you to that basic level knowledge, which may help you if you are taking this class in the real world elsewhere. So thank you for watching. This has been Justin Higgins, and have a great day.